Many celebrities took to social media to outright boycott the 4th of July over the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Actress Jessica Chastain, for example, tweeted a picture of herself posing with her middle fingers up with the message, Happy Independence Day from me and my reproductive rights. Singer Katy Perry referenced her hit song, Firework, in this tweet, quote, Baby, you're a firework is a 10, but women in the U.S. have fewer rights than an actual sparkler. And Kim Kardashian reshared this post from another user. Fourth of July has been canceled due to a shortage of independence. Sincerely, women. Kaylee. I can't with these celebrities, um, and I can't with our president who echoed these celebrities. Yes. You expect a different tone from the president. You don't expect America has come up short. I mean, who wordsmith that beauty? Yep. It reminded me, I just contrasted with my old boss. He said, every American patriot should be filled with joy because you live in the most magnificent country in the history of the world, and it will soon be greater than ever before. That's what I want to hear from the celebrities and certainly from our president. Especially from that unifier in chief, which is what we were promised yes. by then yeah. candidate Biden, only to fail miserably. At I mean, I, I watched that failure on display, and it, it actually really broke my heart because Highland Park, Illinois, had just happened, and he didn't know that the person had been named about the man. He didn't know any of that. He had to look down. Have you yeah. seen that video? He yeah. looks down and he reads the words Highland Park, Illinois, yeah. and what the heck was Dr. Jill Biden doing, tucking in her note card, like? So that true. woman put. I, she was trying to find a pocket for the. The whole time he's acknowledging. The massacre in Illinois, it is, it's disappointment, it's, it's, I don't understand it. You know, and the, and the, I the, want them to want to be better. The worst, the worst thing I think about what he said is where he said it. This was a barbecue yeah. for mili military families. I know. Military families. I mean, you gotta, you're, you're in, trying as commander in chief to inspire people to fight for their country. And you're saying the country's second rate. I mean, come on. Yeah. This, is, this is the best country in the world, and it's the, the principles that we stand for are worth fighting and even, in some cases, dying for. That's what he should be saying. Yes. Not this stuff. Amen. That's right. And adding, adding in to that tone deafness, of course, weighs in Hollywood. That's right. And the irony, of course, is that the Roe versus Wade decision gave more decision and democracy back to the people. I mean, the, 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 the decision said you as people can make this decision instead of unelected Supreme Court justices. So it's actually a win for America. And the people who feel that way on Hollywood should do what the pro-life movement did, which was fight for 40 years within or 50 years within the system and, and do what's right. Mm. Um, and mm. and not, instead of criticizing it, do your work. That's so right. they have lots of time to convince people that their violent way of, of dealing with an abortion is the right way to go. And the pro-life side had the, has the uh, opportunity at this point to make the case for life. And every, 50 states are now going to have to do that. That's right. So my question is, who, who is receiving these messages coming out of Hollywood, right? That continued tone deafness. Is it just that it's this insular community? It's the echo chamber. What is that furthering for them? Is that cementing they'll get that next contract? Like, okay, Warner Brothers is going to, like, allow me in and not try to cancel Well, why me. not? Who's listening? Within seconds of the ruling, of the breaking news, you had 17, 18 companies saying that if you, you know, choose to, to live a certain way, we'll... Tra we'll pay for your travel to go get an abortion. We'll do whatever you need to do. Well, why not? Why wouldn't they flex for sponsorship? Right. Yeah, and There's Michael a big Moore, name sponsoring. And I heard on your show Michael Moore saying, like, women and girls yeah. aren't free. I mean, to your point, Rachel, I feel freer than ever before, ever before because I don't need a sloppily dressed man telling me as a woman how I should think. In fact, many women don't think the way of which Michael Moore caricatures us to think because we are pro-life and we have the freedom to now express that at our state level. And 80% of women who have an abortion say they would not have had one had they had the support. So women aren't clamoring for abortion. They're clamoring for support when they have a crisis pregnancy. They're clamoring for support when they do have children. And they're also clamoring for men to step up and take responsibility because abortion has been an escape hatch for a lot of men taking responsibility for their part in this. Can, can I just yep. quote a great American philosopher whose sure. name is Alice Cooper? I thought that's who that was. <laughs> you got a picture of him right Alice there. Cooper, like, Alice Cooper, Alice Cooper's, I'm kidding folks, but Alice Cooper did say Alice. if you're listening to a celebrity in order to get your information on who to vote for, you're a bigger moron than they are. Right. Well said. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. And Kaylee, you know, one of Katy Perry's points, so she said women have less rights in this country than a firework, essentially. But that's part of, I think, what, what you were bringing up, which is that the actual truth of this ruling is restoring voting rights and the authority back to the people in the way that our founding fathers intended, in the way that the Constitution protects. 
increasing our rights, increasing our power, and yet they just distort the message. Well said. All right, thanks to everyone, and now here's America Reports. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.